Yeah, so how to restore uh, Android 4.4.4 KitKat on uh, an Exo 7, as you can see. Uh, this is uh, an Exo 7 that has run until today uh, 5.1 Lollipop. And I've managed to install uh, the default image for an Exo 7 uh, for uh, uh, KitKat. And it works just great like uh, the tablet is like insanely fast now as it was uh, when it was running uh, this version of Android everything is so smooth compared to 5.1 lollipop uh, I was able to install a few apps that I'm using like uh, these two mostly Twilight which will uh, just dim the the brightness and the uh, volume booster anyway YouTube also works great everything runs perfect if you want to do the same uh, proceed with the video so just a warning uh, an important one uh, uh, trying to install uh, an older uh, version of Android on your tablet even to now it's running with uh, 5 lollipop uh, it might be unsuccessful and uh, you might not even be able to use uh, the tablet with the current system lollipop so I'm just warning if you really don't care uh, about the tablet it will uh, not work after you can just continue and try to install the Android KitKat if uh, your tablet is really useful and it still works as it is now uh, you might consider not to proceed Alright, so the first step is to install uh, Android Studio. Android Studio and Toolkit. You can search this on Google and get the first result. Download. and it will start to download this file that uh, is pretty big uh, almost one gigabyte alright so let's wait for it to download In the meantime, we can also download the Nexus 7 uh, 4.4.4 uh, ROM. So let's go to Google and search for uh, Nexus 7 4.4.4 ROM. And we want to go on this website which uh, is from Google, it's developers.google.com and factory images for Nexus and Pixel devices and it will display tons of uh, images here. Do Ctrl F on the browser and search for Nexus 7 and it should be this one Nexus 7 Wi-Fi this is the 2012 version if you have the updated one you will need uh, this one 2013 and uh, Wi-Fi or mobile but I have this one and so it's Wi-Fi so uh, click on uh, this one this is the latest stable version for uh, KitKat which should make your tablet uh, work like uh, in my uh, video.
from the start of the video. So click on link and save. This one has 367 megabytes. It will start to download. In the meantime we can install Android Studio. So click on it and we need to wait a bit so let's see I guess it will just start to install in a minute If it doesn't, uh, right click and open containing folder. Or I guess it's just starting, so it is starting to install now. Uh, since this is a big kit, it will take a few minutes to finish installing. Click on yes. Yes, again. Okay, so click on next. Next, uh, we can install it in the default location. Install, and now we have to wait. In the meantime, we can also uh, extract the archive with the image. So, extract to desktop. And it's done. It will be here called Nakasi KTU 84P. Android Studio is still uh, installing and it's done uh, we click on next and finish uh, this is uh, I click twice so we don't need this one so we close it Android Studio is starting And now it will also start to download a few other things uh, that are dependent. Uh, we click here on uh, next. Next again. You see the location where uh, this folder will be installed, Android SDK click on next and finish and it will start downloading uh, 150 megabytes of uh, data uh, so these are uh, Android SDK tools this will also take quite a while to finish So around 3 minutes later all the components have been installed. It will say Android SDK is up to date and we click finish. And this uh, window will appear. We need to go to configure SDK manager and 
then all right uh, then we go to SDK tools so Android SDK SDK tools there are these uh, tabs and we need to check uh, Google USB driver and uh, that's the only one and we click on apply and it will say that it will download some new components click OK accept next and wait for it to finish finish OK and we can just close this <coughs> okay so at this time we need to copy the SDK uh, files on this folder so uh, from uh, Windows Explorer we go to C uh, users your uh, window uh, Windows username go after to app data local Android SDK and then to platform tools and then you just copy everything copy and you paste it here great uh, so at this uh, point you can just uh, plug in uh, by USB your uh, Nexus 7 tablet and you need uh, from uh, developers uh, options to have uh, a USB debugging turned uh, on so you need to uh, tap uh, a few times uh, on build number uh, it's an option from settings and uh, about so about tablet and uh, build number tap uh, many times until it will say that you are now a developer uh, I, yes you already know this but I'll just tell it uh, so you go to developer options with the tablet uh, connected by USB and uh, check USB debugging and click OK uh, great now uh, uh, from this folder you will do shift keep shift uh, pressed and right click and click on open command window here uh, you will see this and you will write ADB devices anyway for me it's saying offline because I already did all these steps but for you it will uh, appear as online I'll just unplug it okay next uh, you need to type uh, ADB uh, reboot boot loader and uh, en enter uh, at this point your tablet will just uh, uh, reset and you will see the uh, some settings uh, and you will notice at the bottom if it's saying uh, unlocked if uh, it's saying unlocked you can skip this if uh, it's uh, displaying locked you need to type uh, fast boot sorry fast boot uh, OEM OAM uh, unlock enter uh, I don't have the device connected so it's displaying this waiting for any device and then the last step after it's finishing you need to type flash uh, sorry it's flash uh, minus all and hit enter and at this point uh, uh, what will happen is that uh, the 4.4.4 KitKat will start installing on your tablet after it is finishing uh, 
the tablet will just uh, you'll need to press uh, a key and uh, here and the tablet will just reboot and it will uh, run uh, the old Android KitKat so we'll have to reconfigure everything entering uh, Wi-Fi password uh, Google username and password and it's uh, good to go as you see in my video now uh, if uh, you still see waiting for any device uh, when uh, you typed flash all or uh, fastboot OEM uh, unlocked uh, you go to it means that you don't have the drivers installed uh, for uh, the tablet even to uh, it works you can see the partition when you connect the tablet you you write my PC right click properties and uh, here device and the other devices it will appear something with Android and uh, an alert icon so you'll have to update the drivers I'm going to show you how to do it so update driver browse and uh, this is the path so it's uh, user your username app data local android sdk extras google usb driver once you have this path you click on next and it will just install right away and it's done you can just repeat again the process and you want you will get rid of waiting for any device now another issue is that uh, you might see some errors saying that uh, something was not fine when uh, you run flash all so when the image is installing you might see those uh, messages you can just ignore them and uh, keep this window running uh, even if it seems like it's stuck for a bit uh, it will finish if it will uh, fail and uh, it will display something like uh, press any key to exit it means that uh, writing the image was unsuccessful and uh, then uh, it's bad luck because uh, your tablet won't start with even the old uh, Android 5 uh, lollipop at that time you can just uh, repeat all the process uh, start with flash all again uh, repeat everything if that doesn't work either you can just uh, try to download an older image of Android for a Nexus like uh, 4.3 uh, 4 or 4.1 it will be the same and uh, repeat everything uh, use flash all and uh, hopefully that will work if you have any questions uh, please leave in the comments if uh, the video helped you please subscribe to my channel that will help me a lot and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, goodbye